Hello guys and welcome to someone other than Twitch plays Pokemon. Rather than having 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 people try and play one Pokemon game, we're going to sort of rein that in a little bit and go with just one one person playing quite a, a game which he likes quite a lot. So hello guys, this is Rabbit Luigi, and welcome to my new Let's Play. Uh, the title sequence is quite long, so it's not just going to say BANG! There it is, because it's not actually that convenient. I'll just let you sort of watch this. It's fun that way. It's a Chikorita, there's a Cyndaquil, there's a Charizard in the background, because what you got to remember is that uh, Game Freak likes Charizard. Pokemon in general likes Charizard quite a lot, and welcome! Two, let's play Pokemon Gold. Now, oh my god, guys, I quite like this game. You know, Wind Waker, Sunshine, this. I like the holy trinity of games that were just my childhood in a nutshell. So on that topic, on that subject, let's get going. Ignore like the new start file, this thing down here with the Thursday. That was like a practice file. We don't even need to see that anymore. We're going to go to new game, because that's, that's what we do with this now. Dot dot. Lots of dots. I have nothing to say. Hmm? What? You woke me up! I do voice acting now. Will you check the clock for me? You get to see when I record this. That's fun. Uh, what is actually the time? I don't... That's that's day. That's night. I want to go for... What's... What's 14... Oh, hang on. I'm bad at clocks. Shut up. There we go. Two. I think that's about right. And then four. Yeah, okay. Whoa! Four minutes? Wow! Four minutes is incredible. That's so much time. I overslept. Oh dear, so oh my god, it's a, it's a Professor Oak man. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> my name is Oak, I touch children. Uh, people call me the Pokemon Professor, or the Prof, because that's short for Professor. This is a Meryl. This Pokemon is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Just made the cry there, so you know it's a Meryl now. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other and giving each other booze. Some Pokemon play with Pokemon. Some battle with them, some just sell them, because that seems like a good thing to do as well. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That is why I study Pokemon every day of my life. And then there's you, you strange child. I'm going to call myself here No, let's not do that. Let's call ourselves the name you pretty much guaranteed. You, you must have seen this coming. You must have seen this coming. It's too easy. It even fits perfectly. So there you go. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold! You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. You shrunk me down to a sprite. And now I've got a house. Wow, or at least I've got an upstairs. So yeah, this is my computer. Looks a little bit old. There's nothing in there. I remember that. There's a radio. That also looks a little bit old. Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk. Please tune in next time. Thanks. Pokemon Channel! That's that really weird GameCube game. DJ Mary, Pokemon, Pokemon Channel. And then a TV which has nothing on anyway. So we don't even really need to worry about that. But there's someone downstairs. Is it our mother? I think it's our mother. Professor Elm was looking for you. So rather than Professor Oak, who was this strange Professor Oak man? What did he want? Oh, I don't know. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Which is like an iPod. Or an iPad or something which like does clever things. You get to do stuff. It's essential if you want to become a good Pokemon trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You even get to see what day I record this on. That's bull. That is total bull. Is it? That is, it is a Thursday today. It is, absolutely, yes. This day that I don't know. That's an American thing, isn't it? Uh, yes. Why not? <laughs> I only know BST and GMT. I don't know much about daylight saving time. I don't know. I know how to use a phone. Jesus, yeah. You just said it there. So why even ask me if you're just going to tell me? Okay, mum, get out the way. Get out the way, mother, before I trample you into the ground. So this is Pokemon Gold. This is the second generation of Pokemon, which is like that. Oh, there's someone looking. What's this? What are you? You have red hair. I have a red cat, but you have red hair. The famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at, boy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick you out the way. That was violent. So yeah, this is the second generation of Pokemon, which is my personal childhood favourite. Um, for many, many reasons, I'll get through various reasons during the uh, the Let's Play. Jackass, there you are. Uh, I needed to ask you a favour. I have a, everybody's just gonna sound the same in this. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just as I have two voices, and it's the American voice and the British voice. So good luck with that. 
I have an acquaintance named Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Do you reckon he's just really lonely? I reckon he's just really lonely and just wants to talk to someone. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this, this time it's for reals. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Very, very busy. You look very, very busy. I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. Now, that's what I want to do. That's what I don't want to do. I just realized I haven't started a timer. So, uh, that'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> Go on, pick one. I don't know. What should I pick? I'm actually going to pick this one. Because, now, quite a lot of people seem to pick a Cyndaquil because it evolves into a Typhlosion. Everybody loves this Typhlosion. As a child, my sister picked the Cyndaquil and got, got it through to a Typhlosion and I got a Totodile, which is pretty good and I'd say just as good. And for what I want to build my team around, if you think about it, I'm just trying to, you know, I don't, I haven't prepared much of this except for maybe a team and in order to get a very balanced team, this is what I need, okay? And as for a nickname, uh, I'm going to go with Dylan. No idea why. Dylan. I think it's like crocodile, crocod, crocod, crocodilian, crocodile, crocod. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's it's totodile, totodile. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, it lives near Cherry Grove, the next city across. It's almost a direct route to there, which means you can't get lost unless you're an absolute moron, which is a possibility. Is a possibility, I'd say. And he's just given us his phone number, as if we want to talk to an old. Scuzzy professor man. We're, we're young, off on a Pokemon adventure. Jackass, I want you to have this on your for your errand. It's a potion. Just in case you're feeling down in the dumps, you can have this alcoholic beverage. I don't know. There are only two of us here, so we're always busy. Why don't you hire more? This is like the only uh, Pokemon lab in the world or whatever. Why don't you hire more? Look, she's doing nothing. This woman here. He's doing nothing. You're like, oh, you're probably a dog. I wish I had one. You could work in the fucking Pokemon lab. And you'd have, like, a, a billion to look after and train and research and shit. Why don't you just do that, okay? Oh, dear. You know, sometimes video games make no sense. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, where are we going? Uh, I want to go... There's a, there's a berry bush over around here. So, yeah, Pokemon Gold introduced a lot of things that Pokemon Yellow... Well, Pokemon Generation 2... Introduce a lot of things that Generation 1 missed out on. And we just kind of a, a quick battle. You know, kind of general... I'm going to say this now, generally. Guys, would you like me to keep in the battles? Because uh, what, what I will probably do is keep in the important ones. Like this, for example, because it's our first one. And I nearly killed that thing in one shot. My Totodile is amazing. Don't you forget it. Don't need a, don't need a Cyndaquil. Totodile on the way, bitches. So, would you like me to keep in all the battles, or just the ones which I feel are important? I'm going to show battles regardless, because it's kind of part of the game. Um, and, you know, things like, you know, gym leader battles, battles with special trainers, that sort of thing. I'll keep those in, but do you want, to keep me, do you want me to keep in every battle? Because that seems a little bit redundant to have every single Pokemon battle. It'll be, you know, just most of the... Especially when, like, there'll be later moments where we're in caves and stuff. And do you really want me to be, like... Why do I go in the Pokemon Center? Okay, we'll, we'll heal up our Pokemon anyway, it doesn't matter. Do you really want me to go be, to be going through caves, fighting every other Pokemon, and just slowing down the episode? Do you want me to be doing that? I don't think you do, but just in case, I'll open it up, um, you know, putting that out there. Which one would you like? Me, including all the Pokemon battles, or just the important ones? So there you go. I'm asking you. <laughs> don't tell me that I don't listen to your people. You just need to say something now. Anyway, we'll just keep, we'll keep these ones in for now, because... I might as well. I don't know. It's a Caterpie. Oh my god. I must have a Caterpie. I'm not gonna have a Caterpie in my team. I'm sorry. I have a vague idea of what Pokemon I want for my team and the, you know, the, how I'm gonna use them and, you know, who's gonna be my fly slave and who's gonna be my other things. It's gonna be fine, but most of the Pokemon I want, I would say most of them, but at least two of them, uh, you can only find right near the end of the game. So, we could have four Pokemon for a very long time in this game, which could get interesting. <laughs> but I did do a little practice run, which was a thing you saw um, at the uh, sub sub menu thing the, at the beginning. And I found that I could get my first three Pokemon very easily and very quickly at the beginning. So that's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. So we're just going to be fighting Caterpies. This stage, just going to be leveling up a Pokemon. It's what we do. It's how this works. String Shot doesn't work because it's a terrible move and you should never have it. Have like spider web or whatever, what that 
the thing which uh, Galvantula learns. I've been riding that Pokemon X and Y wave, by the way, which is kind of why I wanted to do this, because I haven't really done that much on my channel involving Pokemon. I did, like, top 10 favourite Kalos Pokemon, which was pretty fun. But I just wanted to sort of do more for Pokemon, because it's an important series. It's, it's a series quite a lot of people would like. I just haven't done that much. Let's do a Let's Play, because Pokemon Let's Plays are always fun. You can It's very customizable. You can give them crazy nicknames, which I have picked out already, so that's fine. Pokemon House! Pokemon House is... No, Mr. Pokemon's house. Uh, this way. It's fine. Just keep going. Keep going. There's a wild Pokemon everywhere. It's almost like it's the forest or something. I don't know. It's another Caterpie. I never saw one on my practice run. Now I've seen, like, three in a row. What is that? What is that? Okay, doesn't matter, because my... Totodile is pretty friggin' powerful. Uh, actually, the reason why I, po I picked a Totodile was because it's quite a physical Pokemon. Um, this was still before they had the f a physical special split for moves rather than types, which is, you know, it's split by types at the moment, which is a bit of a stupid thing. Um, and Totodile is quite a physical Pokemon and learns quite a lot of physical moves, like Tackle for a start, which is pretty good. Um, and it's just, it's just a nice Pokemon. I like Totodile. Remember Pokemon anime? Pokemon anime? Totodile? He was so much fun. He was such a character. Should have one of these in, in this. It's going to be fantastic. Don't worry. He evolves quickly. I th no, he doesn't evolve quickly. But he, he's a good Pokemon. Honest to God. And I just didn't, I didn't want to have a Cyndaquil. Because everyone has a Cyndaquil. It's fine. Also, why am I not playing Crystal? Because I like gold better, okay? It was the game I grew up with. And funny enough, interesting bit of trivia... Uh, I think Pokemon Gold, you know, the second generation of Pokemon, is the only generation of Pokemon to have a starter Pokemon start with an item being held. I learned Rage, which would be appropriate if I was failing a lot of the time, but I'm not feeling that ragey. So that's fine, there's a car outside, you're gonna make me raise ragey. And we get a Puzen Cure Berry. Puzen Cure Berry, yes. Which surprisingly cures Puzen, uh, or, or Puzen. So, hello, hello, you must be Jackass. Professor Elm said you might visit. Oh, you would visit. He was, he was a bit more short than that. This is what I want, Professor Elm, to examine. It's my pit now. He received a mystery egg. Mystery egg. That's important for later, okay? Not plot-wise, but that's important for later, okay? <laughs> mystery egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare center service thing. They gave me that egg. And they said, what the f- I don't even know what this egg is. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Elm. Professor Oak! Oh my god, he's here! <laughs> That's actually quite frightening. Professor Elm will know it. Professor Oak is like, hi, can I touch you? Haha, <laughs> you're also your axe and your jackass. Oh, I'm no, oh, the professor Pokemon Professor. <laughs> no! I was just visiting my old friend here. For oh, Mr. Pokemon. <laughs> professor Oak is, um, is, he touches people. He touches kids. I heard you were running an errand. For Professor Oak, so I waited here. I wanted to see you. I wanted to touch you. Yes, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm getting inappropriate. Hmm, I see it's a Pokemon. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. Because he didn't want you to die. There's like wild Pokemon everywhere. And you've got to defend yourself. That's why. Not not so much. Oh, I've got to start your, you know, journey. And he clearly sees you're a very uh, courageous man and boy, child person. You seem, I'm very dependable. It's more the fact that eventually I'll die. Because Pokemon will eat me. Like Caterpie. You don't want to be eaten by a Caterpie. This is the latest version of the Pokedex! Or Pokedex. Give me one of them. Fork it over, prof! It's a high-tech encyclopedia of Pokemon! Freaking Pokedex. Love that. Jeez! Oh, oh, man. Love Pokedex. I'm not gonna, like, fill the Pokedex in on this Let's Play, because that's friggin' impossible. Because there's, like, event Pokemon you need, and it's, it's difficult, okay? But I will get the ones I feel I need to get. Okay, that's basically it. Are you returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. He's basically a Pokemon sensor. That's why he's Mr. Pokemon. I'm gonna call him Mr. Pokemon sensor. Okay, that's fantastic. So anyway, oh, no, no, someone's calling us, Professor Elm. I don't go away. I don't want to go out tonight. Hello, uh, it's a jet, it's a disaster. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Someone's, someone's done something. Uh, he didn't really say what they've done, but someone's done something. So, um, yeah, in the next episode, we're gonna see what, has happened to Professor Elm at the Pokemon Lab and why he's so panicky and why he feels he needs to call us about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Take care.